All right, welcome to the show. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the crawler section or the main section of the LR1600 slash uh, 2. To do that, as you can see, I've got a support crane to help if needed. May or may not use it depending on how quickly I want to get this done. All right, so first thing, go in to the store. And you'll see in the category of Liebherr LR, you will find all of the LR1600 components okay um, so we're first going to start off with the crawler section <clears throat> what you've got at the top the first configuration option is your boom selection you have both standard and heavy booms heavy boom adds in the derrick um, whenever you're selecting a boom make sure you also select boom length um, and depending on what type of boom you'll you'll have one or multiple options for length depending on what it is. Um, so like if we go to a standard with a luffing jib, we have the main boom length and then adds in the jib length, or the luffing jib length. If you go to the fixed jib, you get the fixed jib length. Um, if you do the luffing and fixed jib, you get the main boom jib length as well as fixed jib length. Um, make sure you have those selected before you buy whatever you're doing. Um, Anytime you want to change your boom setup, you will have to reselect re your boom selection and then reselect the length that you want. Um, that way it works out right. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go with a uh, luffing jib just for fun, uh, something later as well. Um, engine setup, all this is doing is determining whether it's the standard. Uh, 1600 or the dash w model um, which has skinnier attachment points for the tracks and then also has these large outriggers um, i'll probably do a separate video for this one um, this one also has uh, a longer ladder to be able to get down when you've got it all set up uh, so that's all the engine does we're going to stay with the standard i'm going to go with the shortest boom length and the shortest luffing jib length um, i'm not going to go with any logos but you have tons of logo options um, gps is from a different mod um, now we're going to go into some color and you have as you can see you've got quite a different uh, quite a lot of uh, color options all right <clears throat> so we've got i'm gonna do a uh, smooth cream for the body Lattice end pieces are going to be this JCC green. Uh, lattice middle sections will be the cream. Uh, main will be the green again. Main lattice, which is the middle sections, will be this cream color again. Pulleys and booms will do that in the green. Uh, ballast wagon, uh, I'll do it in cream, then do the wheels in green. SA arm, what's nice is I've also added the capability to change this. Um, we'll do that in the green. And then this isn't superstructure, this is the crawler section. Just got to change that. But we can change that to green as well. There we go. All right, so I'm going to buy this. Then I'm going to get uh, a track set. There are three different logos, Al Ferris, BMS, and Hajkoop, um, for the tracks, because those are the only ones that I saw that had logos on the tracks. We'll do green, the JCC green for this as well. Uh, I'll get ballast when I actually need, uh, in another video, um, we're going to get everything we need to set up. All right, for, we have a center ballast console. I'll make this uh, cream colored. <coughs> For that we need two of these. Uh, we're gonna get the center platforms. Do those in green. So this gets you all four of them. Gonna do a ladder. Uh, gonna get the ladders. You have a lot of different configuration options. So you have no railing, left lower, right lower, both lower, left full, right full, both full. I'm just gonna do none for now. You need four of these. Or actually, you don't need four. Um, you can have anywhere up to four. 
And I lost count of how many we've got. It's three, so I just need to get one more. I like to do four, just, just the symmetry, I guess. All right, so this is the superstructure ballast console. This one need two. Uh, and then for this video, because we only have we have a standard boom, we only need the standard boom base. Um, if you do uh, the Derek or a heavy boom, you need the Derek boom base as well. Um, eventually, we'll get to. I'll show you the boom nose, the pulley sets. Um, and the hooks and then in another video I'll go over ballast options because uh, you got the ballast options here and then you also have a mechanical support legs um, and then also some track mats so I think that's going to be good for now yep okay so the main body got put over here and so the first thing you need to do <coughs> is actually lower the uh, assembly legs so each one has its own trigger for interactive control so you can open each one out um, that can be used for when you're so you can fold it up when you're transporting it uh, and then you on any one of the four outrigger arms you can click that interactive control and it'll actually lower the legs. Now you noticed a second one come up. If you want to load it onto a uh, trailer and if you need to get it higher, you can click that and it makes it go higher. Click that and it makes it go right back down. Um, when you just use this one, that brings it up to the perfect height for um, attaching the legs. Or excuse me, the legs, but the tracks. Um, tracks can be lifted by a crane. You can see I've got the lift points marked there that disappear as you get farther away. Um, for this, we're just going to quickly move them into position just to show you how they get put on, not how that's actually done in real life. Okay, so what you want to do with the tracks is make sure you get as close as possible but they the brackets match up together so th this is the left track so it would have a little L on it uh, that's the right track so it'll have a R on it alright so here we now we can get up back into the cabin open the door you don't really have to do that it's just for fun and hop inside okay <clears throat> so now it shows that we can attach the right track and I didn't get the left track aligned properly so we gotta get it back off Now, once you have the tracks attached, you can go back down and attract <clears throat> your assembly outriggers. You can also unfold. So you notice I've got custom uh, icons. So the tracks, are the lines, or the track pads. Uh, so let's see. Going inside, turning on incremental control. Is the second one. And that will swing out the cab. Go back to this view. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it on.
efficiencies, there is a hydraulic cylinder involved as well as the other one, which is what we're going to do. That can be used to pick up items, and I'm assuming to pick up the tracks, but it would not be used in some way. It would be used in the ultimate to assemble ballast consoles and platforms and whatnot. It does have a vehicle here, which is what we want.
sets it to where
so i'm going to leave this video here for now and come back and show you how to attach the booms.